Have you ever thought that maybe you're losing some water in your pond? Stick with me for a few minutes. I want to go over some items with you and let you figure out if you're losing water through evaporation and if you're not, how to find that leak and how to fix it. So we'll get calls every once in a while from customers saying, I think my pond's leaking. Well, it's not always a leak. Sometimes it could be evaporation. Uh, if you have a lot of splash or a lot of water flow, it happens over time. Uh, so anything more than a quarter to a half an inch of water loss a week, you should probably give us a call or, or do this testing yourself. So if you do give us a call, the first thing we're gonna do is ask you to fill your pond up to its max capacity. You may have an overflow valve on your pond, or you could just use a natural edge where as the pond begins to fill up, it'll just naturally go over the edge of the pond and into the yard. Either way, we want you to fill the pond up, make sure it's not over full, but mark your water level with a brightly colored crayon, maybe white, yellow, orange, whatever you can see against a dark surface, uh, such as the inside of the skimmer box or maybe a rock. So we want you to unplug your pump and let the pond sit for at least 24 hours. What that's going to do is if you do have a leak in the pond bottom itself, that water level is going to seek to where that hole is. So I would say nine times out of 10, anytime that a customer calls and says my pond's leaking and that water drops in the pond, it's usually around the face plate uh, of the skimmer opening where the liner is actually silicone and attached to the skimmer itself. Those screws, uh, they do corrode and they disappear over time and the liner can actually pull away from the skimmer allowing water to exit out of the pond itself. Like I said, that's usually nine times out of ten if you've got a leak in your pond itself, that's where it's going to be. Very rarely do we have holes that are in the pond or down in the bottom of the pond it does happen, but it's very rare. So after you've let your pond sit for 24 hours, if it hasn't dropped, we're gonna ask you to turn the pump on and begin to let your waterfall flow into the pond. Once you've done this, you've removed some water from the pond that is now held in the biofalls and in your stream, you're gonna to wanna to mark a new water level on the, on the same rock that you had done before. So we're gonna let your pond run for another 24 hours with your new water line. So after 24 hours, we want you to check and see if your water level's dropped. If it has, you wanna go up, you wanna check all the edges of your stream. You wanna look for any wet, soggy spots that may be along the stream, maybe in the mulch, some place where water could be being diverted around a rock and leaving the stream area. Uh, if you don't find any of that, you also need to check the faceplate screws on your biofalls. Again, this is just like the skimmer. These screws will corrode away and where that liner attaches to your biofalls, it can pull away as well. So these are a couple areas to check. Uh, if you get to the point where you just throw your hands up and say, I can't figure this out, that's when you contact your lo local pond professional. So this is a, a, a long, tedious process, but if you're able to do it yourself, you're gonna save yourself a little bit of money but uh, if you don't have the time or the know-how, feel free to give us a call. So hopefully you've liked what you've seen today. We have more information and an article on leak detection on our website. Feel free to look it up and hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks for watching.